Hi folks, uh, it's Tamara Phillips again, your English teacher here to talk to you a little bit about our next participation activity. So this is participation activity number three. So over and over again in today's uh, participation activity number two, folks uh, told me that they really needed clear instruction in order to be successful in a class. And of course, this makes sense. Um, I also sensed a little bit of anxiety around the online platform because many of you have never used Brightspace before. So today I thought for participation activity number three that I would use Screencastify to walk you through the Brightspace platform and our online course as best as I can and get you to do um, a little activity with your profile. So the first thing I wanted to show you is our course homepage. Up here in the nav bar or navigation bar, you can add as many little apps as you want to your nav bar. I have um, created, I've, I've thrown in the ones that I think are most useful to you as students. So the course home nav bar link is going to take you to our course homepage. Now in our course homepage, I've got the newsfeed updates. I've got a little calendar of things that are upcoming and the updates uh, based on what's in our calendar. And then down below, you've also got your Google Apps and links to the Google Apps that you use. Of course, you need to be signed in with your HDSB address, but you can check your email and your calendar and go to your drive through the app links down at the bottom. Now up top, content is probably the most useful link in the nav bar that you are going to use. And right now, these are the two modules that we are working on. Of course, there are many other modules to come. But for now, we're on unit one and getting to know you. And the participation activities are nested in that first module. And then you've got the e-learning student orientation package that the Halton District School Board has uploaded to our Brightspace platform for you to help become accustomed to using this platform. Now, today, what I would like you to do is go into your profile. So you're gonna go in just like that to profile. And I'm gonna get you to put in the information into your profile that is relevant for us as users. So I'd like you to update your profile with the information that is relevant. And, and this is key, I want you to put in a little photo. Um, if you are comfortable with putting a profile picture of yourself, just like you would use in social media, I would love that just so that we know, you know, can put a face to the name. Uh, while we're interacting with one another on this online platform. But if you're not comfortable with that, maybe you can upload a picture for your profile picture that uh, speaks to who you are and maybe represents a little bit about uh, you. So again, if you wouldn't mind filling in your profile for participation activity number three, I'm going to be going through and checking out your, your user profile um, for our next uh, attendance activity. All right, so thanks a lot. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Screencastify in these little videos as well as the video notes that I post in our news feed are what we are going to be using uh, for instruction and uh, you know to, to clarify information. So hopefully we get uh, accustomed to that and you guys like this platform. I would love your feedback, so email me anytime. Um, so that I can hear from you and answer your questions. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.